I just don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. There's like a million different characters and a million different things you can interact with. And there's a million different side quests too. Oh fuck. I have to like re-ask I'm everything. going to say no. Go on with your cop work. <laughs> don't let me stop you again. What the fuck? Sounds like you're making her a suspect in this. Not on my watch, you're not. Ruby's one of us. We're not gonna throw her under your Mara Lintern steamroller. Fuck that shit. And fuck you too, moral fa- I think we'll keep sticking around, Titus. You'll be surprised at how quickly a theory presents itself if you keep looking. Sudden flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its airy blaze. Floor plans, bullet trajectories, webs of human emotion, all channeled into a single thought. Because she was here, all night, with us. He's cobbling together shit so he can put her away. It's COP 101. She was here all night? 11.30 to 12.15. She was here during all that time. Yeah, with us, drinking, Oof. near the stage there. No. That's a lie. All right, she took a fucking leak, okay? For one moment, maybe went out too. She has a complex operation to run from her lorry. She's a busy girl. Always has been. This complex operation is probably something illegal. Just because she was gone for five minutes doesn't mean she magically got to the roof and shot the Merc. I've been through this. It's not plausible. Huh? All right, we're in. We got Ruby unaccounted for sometime during the window. This was crucial. Now let's place her on that roof. You got his attention. Now don't ruin it by making weird claims. Remember, you can still mess this up. How? Oh. Mm hmm. People say there was a pinball arcade here. Sometime before the hostel. What was it called, Theo? East Delta Pinball Arcade. <laughs> Weird place. Went bankrupt. Okay, but how'd you get up? There's no room for a staircase in this building. Or an elevator, for that matter. The elevator is outside the building. It's an old dumb waiter used for moving pinball machines up and down from the workshop. <laughs> Ruby could have gone up, shot him, come down. All under seven minutes. That's quite the theory. We need to have a look at that secret passage, boys. I'm on it, boss. Right when the law clears, me and Angus are going up there. It's a dumb waiter, not an industrial lift. How about I go instead of... Just now. You got something else to back this route up? Or is that it? I don't like guessing, Cole. No one does. It opens the steel door in the kitchen. The one that leads upstairs to the roof. This key was right here, with you, all the time. Queer jump into conclusions, Theo. You took that key. Did it look like it was recently put there? No, the ribbon was old, faded. It had been there for 20 years at least. Yeah, could have just put it back. There. Why? This doesn't make sense. It's damn interesting, but it doesn't fit well, and you know it. It doesn't fit well, but it fits, and he knows it. Footprints. The tracks were recent, but not worn down in the right foot like Ruby's. It's best to omit this pesky little polemic for now. Too confusing. 
What else could you make out? How recent? What size? I have to remember what this random person's footprints looked like. Oh, god damn. I don't remember any of this shit. Oh, let's quick save. No, I can't quick save. Fuck me. It's gotta be this. 43 is pretty large for a girl, don't you think? But then Ruby's what you call a butch girl. She's no daffodil. Yeah, but that's what's so cool about her. It's why we've been thinking... I know what you've been thinking, Glenn. We'll talk about it. Once, the murder charges have been cleared. Titus, you're not really saying... He's thinking, all right. Glenn gets silence for an answer. Push forward with this theory. I've seen the winch. I'm not blind. You see, that's one mystery down there. An architectural mystery. Doesn't much concern Ruby, does it? Why not? You can't draw a straight line into Colossia's window from any of the surrounding buildings. Not from what I know about Martinez. Maybe from the coast. But like I said, I've been too busy dealing with you idiots. So no, I don't think it was a sniper. It was close up. 72%. There's a percentage and all. Where'd you get it from? Your guys in the lab? Definitely lie. The truth is not credible. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt to have one of those in Martinez. What else have you got? It puts her on the roof. Right. What the fuck does that got to do with Ruby? I don't know. He makes a gruff gesture for you to continue. Firmly, firmly doesn't go well with could've. There's a route to the roof. Me and the boys need to check it out. That's what we established. Mm. But a route does not put that bullet in his head. A gun does that, and Ruby doesn't carry one. Phase two, murder weapon. Get a gun in her hand. If not that, then at least a shadow of a doubt in the shape of a gun. Huh? Just don't contradict yourself. If it doesn't sound like Ruby did it, maybe keep it to yourself. Look who punch up sold my gun. Look, fucko! Ruby and I are pretty tight. She would have showed me the gun if she had one. She knows I love guns. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows Glenn loves guns. I don't know, Glenny. Ruby's a little secretive, isn't she? Wasn't like she told you every little thing. Hmm. This one does not like Ruby. <laughs> May prove useful. She organizes things. She doesn't whack people. That's not the kind of- It's clear this one is protective of her. Easy now, Glenn. What he's trying to say is, people who don't have guns don't shoot people. You need a gun for that. You don't need to prove anything. Doubt is enough for now. And Titus must have some. Uh... That looks antique. A Belma grave. It's inoperable. Where'd you get it? Uh oh. Twenty, maybe thirty rifles, Titus. Also broken, but still, there were too many. And there must be other caches too. God damn it! We need to close that dump down for good. Okay. I see your point. There are guns lying around. Damn it. I thought we'd found all the old spots. Why was that still there? So he knew about it? We just miss one. Ruby doesn't know this place, boss. Just these cops digging up shit. All right, Carl. Keep talking. I'll tell you when I've had enough. T, we're not seriously considering it, are we? Ruby wouldn't do this. Why would she do something like this? Phase three. Motive. Nice. The last component. The big one. Get this and they'll give her to you. Remember, don't piss him off. 
that never works. <laughs> All part of a leadership challenge against you. That sounds stupid. Curry favor with you? That doesn't make any fucking sense. They already liked her, right? And I suppose you have a theory on that. Oh. Think about it. Why go through all that effort? It was her idea, wasn't it? The hanging. You went along, but she suggested it. She had, like, a fully formed plan and shit. Right when she came back downstairs. Really, Shanks? Closio wanted to talk to another girl, that's all. She was just the first one up there. I could have come up with that plan if I'd have been first. Time for a logics demonstration. I didn't do it, fucker. It wasn't my plan. You probably did, though. It's just a thought experiment. Think, Shanky. You killed him. You got up there, shot him, got down. Fuck you, man! I would never fuck my guys over like that! Hmm? She didn't either. She would never do that. Why aren't more of you defending her? This is fucking stupid, Titus! Glenn, I thought the same thing when she skipped town and left us in this shit. Oh, so he didn't rule her out completely. Ooh. And she skipped town. This is good. Silence. He looks around the room. The old man in the corner nods. A very small nod. And a trickle of tobacco spit on his lip. Yeah, I see it. There's one more thing I've been wondering about. Ever since you asked me where she is. Add it to your list of suspicions, if you want. I don't know. I don't know where she went. She just got up and left. Got real scared, too. Wouldn't tell me where. However hard I ask. Wanna know why? She was afraid I would tell you. Maybe she was right. By now, I probably would. She knew there's evidence on her, and she knew we'd find it. This is typical suspect behavior. Why fleeing is always incriminatory. Perhaps. Ask her if you find her. It won't be easy, though. She made sure of that. Friday afternoon, when you first arrived, I got word the RCM was in town. Then she came in to see me. Told me she was leaving. That's when we had our little conversation. I told you. You. <laughs> me personally. <laughs> No, you, as in the cop with the sideburns and the disco clothes. Oh, what the fuck? I've come to declare the ending of the human experiment. <laughs> Don't for my sick of it. Why does everything play inside my shadow? This game's a joke, what the fuck? Yeah, that's real funny. She wasn't laughing, though. You know, when I first saw you limp in here, I thought she was paranoid or sniffing her own supply, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> what else were we talking about? <laughs> she said you have a funny taste in clothes and that you won't stop. Until you have something on her. She said she's heard of you from Jamrock, that you're a human can opener, that you play suspects against each other, Open them up. Like cans. Do we? Fucking hell. Titus, did he just... Open Angus up like a can? Yes, he did. Now, we can whine about it. Whack him. Or we can go on with our lives. I'm having a go on with our lives kind of day, Al. How about you? Silence. He nods. <laughs> Am I a can open? <laughs> you are insistent. Yeah, there was something else. 
She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. It was burning on her lips. This cop, Titus. This cop, he... But she was too scared. Hmm. She's not far. We know that much. She didn't take her lorry, so she's on foot. Okay. Good fucking luck, man. She knows this place like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. Yeah, Elle. And we won't either. She's not really a hardy candidate anymore, is she? She's not, Glenn. A little. On the coast. Where have you looked for her, more precisely? More precisely? On the coast, past the water log. She's not here, so I'm thinking she's there. Sure, there are some shit houses there, a center block town. The bishop folk there refuse to unionize, so that's oh. one place we haven't looked. Okay. I hear they have a shack where junkies sometimes crash. Time for you to step up. We will start there. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Boyish. Hair's red. Dyed. She looks like a Lowry man. It'll have to. His grip is firm and reassuring. Like holding a piece of unpolished granite. Not just granite. Tightly packed RCM sergeant material. When are you gonna get it through your dumb head? I already am. I just wasn't sure you were. What? And he still isn't. People aren't afraid of good cops in the way Ruby was afraid of you, he thinks, then turns back to his men. And he still didn't. People aren't afraid of good cops. Oh. Okay. Where the shots came from? That's about it. You think you have a pretty hot suspect right now, don't you? That ruby of yours? Notice how it came together without casting too much suspicion on Classia. It was nice and ruby centric in the end. Anything strike you a bit off about this mishmash? Bullet was jacketed. And they don't like him everywhere. That's true. Turned out the bullet was an antique. Wait, what? I thought bullet was jacketed. Footprints in the pinball shop don't fail with old odd souls. Prince. So yeah. Notice how this hasn't come up at all. Even Hardy and his boys didn't mention it. Neither did you. That is true. What the hell? Oh yeah, that's so weird. Hmm. No, they didn't. Good point. It is rather rare these days. But do continue. What do you mean do continue? It wasn't an antique though. Why would I think that? True. Strange how you conducted the whole advanced ballistics analysis and then hand waved it. Are those both options? <laughs> what are you watching? It sounds so weird. <laughs> well, then Absolutely. Okay. It could have come from anywhere, but you're suddenly so certain it came from the roof behind the window. I'm not certain, but what is that, 28% chance? I guess it's worth checking. That's right. Finish thought. Just finish it and conveniently go on. She's watching you leave right now. You know that. Free as a bird on oh, that roof. Classic. Lighting up a cigarette and thinking, am I glad Ruby's in this shit and not no, me? No, I don't think Classic did it. Don't listen to this guy. The theory was solid. He's just jealous. Move on. It's no use harassing her further. I agree. That ride is fucking lightning! Hey! Piss- Look who it is! Shrunken cophead material! That ride is fucking- Hey! Piss- Look who it is! 
these guys aren't scary. You're not scary. I have nothing to work with here. It's either begging Fuck. or bullying. Or both. Just... Uh... Why? And what kind of business... The lieutenant notices your agitation and op... Okay, we get it. You look like total shit. We look... F you didn't say that. I get all defensive. <laughs> <laughs> the lieutenant looks down at his bomber jacket and shrugs, obviously content with his uniform. Fine. Fuck it. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Here. Take it then. I can't handle this sad shit. It's true. He simply can't. It's called empathy. Wow, I did not see that coming. You better wear that jacket with pride. Fuck that. You're not getting mine. My dad's a lawyer in La Delta. He'll have your badge. No, he won't. The <laughs> lieutenant is lightly amused by the situation. <laughs> World fucker, you got a rich dad. <laughs> we only have one jacket and I want it. <laughs> Fuck, we don't need the other one. I got the jacket for you. Oh, that'd be cute. No. Uh, he's like a... Like a volunteer lawyer. A total bitch. Cites law and does dishes. That's so sad. You know what, cop? Fuck you. That's not what this is about. You're not getting my jacket. Fuck him. We don't need his rich dad jacket anyway. I'm not wearing that jacket. <laughs> Why not? Go and recover hard. I don't think this case requires us to go undercover or raise hell. In fact, I don't think the jacket will be useful at all. <laughs> the need will not arise. <laughs> Look at this cute shit. <laughs> How can we become skulls if you go around fraternizing with cops? Let's get the fuck out of here before anyone sees us. There you go. Fuck. I'm sorry, man. I just don't like confrontations, that's all. I <laughs> the sea's gonna calm down soon, I can feel it. The wind is turning southeast. What's on your mind, officer? Presence makes it up. I'll just keep the cordelechi in the channel, if that's okay. It's too shallow near the pier. Hi, ma'am. And it's a jetty, by the way. Of course. Jetty. I prefer a good jetty to appear any day. Jet, jet, jetty. Something about the way she says it makes you want to see. What does it? Ah. Hello, detectives. It's good to see you here. I only just arrived myself. What brings you here, madame? Yeah, I thought she was somewhere else. Nothing, really. I've had my eye on this jetty for weeks now, so I decided to investigate it personally. This cluster of buildings isn't on any of the official maps, as far as I can tell. That. And she's also keeping an eye on you. Hmm. How do I like it? Water drips down eaves of Eternite. The jetty below her feet creaks to the tune. The smell of salt and dog shit in the background. It's pornographically poor, the street has no name, all the men are dead or missing. And is that the carcass of a motor carriage over there? I'm surprised that woman hasn't put me to the sword yet. Maybe she will. You should ask your questions while you can. Dark eyes survey the coast leading up to Martinez. Dull grey metal rests in her scabbard. A sword, the wind is too loud for her to hear. Fortunately for you, madame. The RCM is on the scene. All right. Politics time. Let's react. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I'm not frightened, officer. I'd never... 
Above you, there forms a quilt of alto cumulus clouds, twisting into each other. The wind tugs and stretches them over the bay. Their cloud shadows slide over the ruins of Revachol West. Wherever they pass, the temperature drops slightly, but perceptibly. Have I told you how they discovered this place? No, they're in Silindian, Isola. Well, your condition has left you no worse off than most of these people. The literacy rate is around 45% west of the river. Fifty years of occupation have left these people in an oblivion of poverty. It's a pity. Most of these people will never know what this place means. This island of matter. Or why they were ferried over in the first place. Remind me to tell you one day. For now, how can I assist you in this new location? We were ferried over? Is it like a prison camp? What the fuck? Do we? I hear you have singled out a suspect and are in pursuit. How the fuck? This is cause for cautious optimism. I would not want to delay you. This story she will tell only before she leaves Martinez at the very end of her stay. What? I hear this. this is a cause for cautious optimism. I don't want to delay you. What the hell? She has a spy in the bar? Maybe there is something else I can assist you with while you're hot in pursuit. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? Nay, I haven't seen anyone lately. This is my little cinder block town. I know what goes on around here. She's being evasive. She knows something. Yeah, no shit. She just admitted it. There was a murder in Martinez. She might be a suspect. We would appreciate your help. Would you now? I know how this world works. And it doesn't work when people tell on each other. No. It's not like that, man. With him, we called you. Right now, you just arrive by yourself, like a raven plucking at the window glass. We could probably find ourselves. There's not much to tell. People come in. I see, ma'am. I hope you don't mind. You should look around your shack. Maybe she's rented it out to others, too. Fair enough. An old mirror hangs on the wall. You see a reflection in it. The expression fixed to your clean-shaven face. As you look at the floorboards in this corner of the shack, it's clear one of them isn't quite level with the others. There's a lot to go through. But basically, you're a detective just trying to solve a murder. There was a guy, like, hung up on a tree somewhere. And now we're trying to figure out who did it. The edge of a floorboard next to it looks scratched. Can you kill people? I don't know. Not that I know of. I lost my gun at some point, so I don't think I could even if I wanted to. Hollow space underneath the floorboards is dark and damp. You can barely make out the mixture of sand and sawdust below. Nothing particular catches your eye. Looks like more reeds. There might be something hidden inside the sand though. Something bad. Someone's night thoughts, a last resort, a bad idea. There's gonna be something fucking gross in there. You stick your oh, hand in enough. and start combing through the sand. Dry, not like outside. Fine dust. And then, something hard wrapped in paper. A small cylindrical object. You pull it out. Oh, shit. A bullet. A nine millimeter bullet to be exact, fit for all muzzle loaders of that caliber. The floorboard isn't interested. Maybe the washerwoman is. You have enough to confront her with. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? Damn that girl. And without anger, a long and harsh life has taught her not to buckle under pressure. Easy, man. But it? You didn't put it there, did you? 
she did. Gone and hid things in there? She's usually a good tenant, and not a stupid one either. Yes, I let my room to that ruby girl. As I've done before when she's been in trouble or just looking for solitude. I've made it clear. We welcome all kinds of people here. She came last Friday, left on Monday in a hurry. What has she gotten herself into, that girl? That's for the police to find out. Right there, please answer each question to the best of your ability. I'm sure we have a few. Yes, early with the dogs, around 8 o'clock, I think. Dogs. She probably heard the Lieutenant's Kanema drive by, and it woke her up. Just like it did you. Something woke her up just like it did you. Oh, well, that, that is what woke us up. Yes. That is a downside of having a 130 kilowatt engine. <sighs> it lets the bad guys know when you are coming. I cleaned it. Like I always do. No. The truth, sire. She's good company. Knows how to talk to an old woman. At my age, you don't get a lot of quality conversation. So I really appreciate that about her. This Ruby is an old lady whisperer. She knows how to work the village elder, unlike you. Did she talk to you much during her last day? No, she was mostly silent this time. Kept to herself. She tried not to let it show, but I could tell she hadn't come to fish. Usually she likes to cross a few lines. But this time, she mostly stayed in her room. She wanted to talk to her, as they usually do. But she was brooding. How would I know? She's a gruff one, but not violent. She doesn't go around toting a gun. You could ask her about your hunch. That it was a desperate measure. See if she thinks Ruby fits the bill. I Do tell. Ask her about your hunch. What the fuck was my hunch? It's an exit plan. Oh, that she killed him? Why would I not tell her? Fuck it. Exit from what? Spread your hands. The lieutenant stops writing for a moment. He looks at you, then at the old woman. No, she's a fighter. She really believes that? I don't know. Further up the coast, she tried to leave oh, quietly. Yeah. But the hinges on that door screeched like a cat in heat. Woke me up. I heard her rushing in those heavy boots, heading up north. It's a peninsula. She might be trapped. You'll never find her, you know. She knows the coast like the back of her hand. You only just arrived. I wouldn't worry about that, ma'am. We are persistent. You should be hiding in this village. If she didn't go somewhere more pleasant and less wet. Are you sure you would rather stay here? Get a nice cozy fire going in the heater? Seems like a better idea to me. The felled electric mural. You feel like you should go look at it again. Step closer this time. What? Why? One thing, officer. If you do find her, please go easy on her. She really means it. It's an honest plea. She's a good girl. Whatever she's gotten herself mixed up in. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. What bad people? I don't think questioning four-year-olds without their parents present is going to crack the case. This one doesn't say anything. Kicking the concrete with his worn-out sneaker. Lily's our mom. The stone kicker laughs suddenly. His head, the other one, laughs as well. Wow, so intellectually stimulating. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, good talk. Good to see you, friend. Do I have deals set up for you, buddy boy? So what do you want? I got smokes. They're cheap. Very cheap. I got pills now. Great deal. You won't get a better deal on that piss. Spirits I can let go for 300 real. I also have speed. And by speed, I mean amphetamine. See, friend, it's real valuable. 
Worth every real, if you catch my drift. Got it from a bit of a business venture. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny, actually. <laughs> He's finding it difficult to focus his watery gate. What? Keep him talking. Why? The fuck's the point? What did you think was funny earlier? This guy, this guy. Conversation might bring a discount, no? Oh, this is medicinal spirits. The good stuff. Got it from the doctor's office. I got one of those scientific ampoules a few months ago. Torpedo, they call it. It's supposed to keep a man from taking a drink. Didn't stop me for shit, that's for sure. Five lemons with half a pack of butter and you're good to go. It really isn't. In a week, the goddamn kidney started giving me all kinds of help. Finally, the missus took me to a private doctor's office. What Not a charity, the real thing. Those arseholes. Those arseholes charged me four real to remove the damn thing. But I came out on top after all. The idiots left me alone in there. Now, I used to teach high school biology. I know what doctors use to preserve dead fingers. Swipe three cans of this blue medicinal stuff from the back room. Threw the snakes out and voila. Uh -huh. What's left is this beautiful blue stuff. What snakes? 98.7% almost pure alcohol. Snakes or intestinal worms? So it's just Everclear. Yeah, that's why that's why I said. What snakes? Intestinal worms. Or in the drink? Two I already sold to these fine gentlemen here. But this last one is yours for three real, if you want it. <laughs> yeah, let me sniff it. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. It's extremely flammable. One spark in the entire city of Revachon is wiped off the map. Feels like someone set a mustard field ablaze right inside your nose, then drenched it in tear gas. Your nose is a singular source of pain, but at the same time you don't remember the last time you felt so alive. In all fairness, that might be attributed to the retrograde amnesia. So, what's the deal, friend? Want the spirits or not? Sure. Free real and it's yours, friend. Three, the deal of a lifetime. That's a much more reasonable price right there. Makes sense now. I still don't know why I'd need it. They were preserving intestinal worms. Oh, in alcohol. That sounds fucking disgusting. Why would I want that? Hi, by amphetamine, I mean speed. Good, good, okay. my man. Now, what can I offer you? Oh. The system's been good to old Rosemary here, and I'm milking her like a bitch goat in the backyard. Okay. You see, friend, man makes his own luck, and I made mine real good. Got my hands on three bottles, bought cigarettes, bought beer, even bought a bit of speed. And look at me now, <sighs> I've got everyone on my hook. The hook? Where is it? I can't see it. I'm already looking for Kuno, I think. What? <laughs> got a permit. Permit? Who gives a shit? You want to buy something? Grease the wheels, buddy boy. In the civilized world, it's a custom to tip the shopkeep, friend. But come back anyway. Time to call Abigail. <laughs> There's no point, is there? Abigail! Don't call Abigail! The man hiccups. Then he snorts and beckons you to lean in. Closer. Sure. Don't call Abigail. Okay. Don't call Abigail. There's no use in yelling at drunks. The drunk man starts coughing a really okay. disgusting, hacking cough. Don't, don't, don't call. There was little chance he'd be a reliable witness anyway. Yeah, you never know. Tequila Sunset. Uh -huh. Can't really remember seeing any women after losing my keys. He really has no idea who this ruby is, sire. Okay, sure. I'll believe him. I don't think... I'm not sure where the shooting locations are. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've... You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. Right, okay. I couldn't have come from here, trees blocked the way. 
Okay. No. That's what I was looking for. The light vanishes inside the concrete slit. The structure goes deep under the earth. <laughs> Yelling the slit. What's in there? Maybe it's just a storm drain for the sewer. No idea. Could be connected to one of the buildings around here. We might find her down somewhere. There's an old storm drain system beneath Martinez that's mostly collapsed. Revachol sewage system has been built and rebuilt four or five times now. <sighs> In conclusion, she could be under any building. I hope not. Not really. There's no echo and no answer. Okay. I figured, I figured like here would be one of the shooting locations. A man this? lies on the boardwalk, his limbs oh, bent corpse. and neck turned at an unnatural angle. Right next to him is an empty bottle of spirits. In his cramped hand, a chewing gum wrapper. There's some tear, an empty cigarette package, and a crumpled kebab wrapper in the trash bin. Hello again. No, I'm afraid I can't help you with this one, officer. It's just a regular day off for me and Mikhail here. So you haven't seen anyone around? No, I'm sorry. As I said, this is just a day off. We just arrived anyway. There's something friendly and familiar in how he says that. A day off. He's telling the truth. He hasn't seen anyone. You want to look at this mural? You see some a once bright mural towering above you. The signage has a slogan used to intertwine with the loops a long time ago. Now only a shadow of peeled letters remains. It says, above the mural, a collapsed roof, broken windows set in walls that are cracking and will soon also fall, and the coastal breeze rustling and sighing in the remains of the edifice. Fell electrical. How ironic. All these dark rooms. Fell electrical. You only know them as a small company that makes ink cartridges. Looks like they used to be big. There's something in the wind. Sometimes the only way to go forward is to fail first. In there? She could. Or she could be in the identical room over there. Or in that boat shack. In that church tower, maybe. Why single out this one building? Found the empty trap, heard Lena's true story, reconstructed execution. Death notification? I don't know what any of them are. Even though you're sure you succeeded, all is quiet. <laughs> there is no cold hand brushing against your forehead. No rustle in the reeds. The wind has died down. The ruin in front of you is silent as a tomb. Trying to talk to the wind, the city, whatever you thought would happen, did not. And now you're just standing there with your hands fallen to your side. Is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? Is it in your secret repertoire? A trick for when you're out of ideas? How do we? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. <sighs> okay. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. We already scanned most of the outdoor areas on our wild cryptid hunt, so we have an understanding of the geography, at least. And then there's the church. We've already searched that and can rule it out. I know it doesn't feel like progress, but exclusion is a step too. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way, sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula, ask the locals, enter the places where we can enter first like we did in the village. Then, if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Bankers, storm drainage, this place, I'm sure it won't come to that. Mm, I wouldn't be sure about that. Walk the coast, the old boardwalk, the reeds. You can always come back here and talk to the wind again. Look where it already got you. A few locusts trudge along poor things. A metal and plastic contraption bobs up and down amidst the trembling reeds. At first, That, over there. Must be the boy class you told us about. The one she hid her passport in. We should take a look. Ooh, hidden things. Secrets. Lies. You lift the boy out of the water without much effort. It's not tied to anything. The cords dangling from the bottom appear to have been cut. 
The number 11 has been written on the yellow plastic. It hasn't been in the water for very long, but it's already discolored and slimy with silt. A latch holds it close, but only just barely. The brittle metal of the latch has cracked. Simple construction. Very unsafe. Unsafe? For who? Who the fuck is riding the buoy? There's something in there, splashing around. It smells like you would expect it to smell. A concentrated version of the coast. Salt, industrial slop. The water this side of the peninsula is cleaner. Actually, smells a little salty. That actually helped? A shot glass's worth of seawater pours out. Some algae. And nothing else. Well, damn. We still got here too late. There's nothing of use here anymore. Too late what? There's no way she beat us here. I have no idea. I wouldn't go so far as to say that. This is only a small loose end. But I do wish we knew who took the documents. That may very well be the case. We should keep an eye on her. You could ask the miss what she thinks. Later, if you have the time. Though you doubt she'll tell you much at this point. 